Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for attending this presentation. Uh, I'm Shinsuke Mai from Japan. Uh, watch out, Chin Chin Chen Chie. Uh, ni hao. Uh, ni hao. <laughs> uh, I work as a software engineer at Cookpad. And uh, recently, I have been interested in Ruby and IoT technology. Today, uh, I'd like to talk about a uh, food delivery service uh, which uses Ruby and IoT. Uh, my presentation will help you to understand how to build a uh, uh, reliable IoT system. First of all, uh, I want to tell you first, uh, this first. Uh, when many people say these words, IoT and Ruby, they think that I, uh, I, I talk about the MRB, but don't talk uh, about MRB today, sorry. Uh, I use CRuby. Okay, this is the agenda of today's session. Uh, generally, uh, there are three parts in this session. Uh, firstly, I will talk about the uh, trial of the service. Next part about building uh, two IoT system, uh, Ruby printer system and the fridge lock system. And lastly, I will share the way to develop a stable IoT system. The new service name is Cookpot Mode. Uh, this service uh, users can buy fresh meat and fresh, uh, fresh, uh, you can buy uh, fresh meat, uh, uh, fishes and vegetables and cereals can Sellers like a farmer, butcher, or a, a fish shop can open open the stores uh, on Cookpad Mart. So let me show you how to how user how user use the service and uh, how the service actually works. It looks like uh, Instacart or Honestbee, but the delivery system is quite different. Uh, first, a uh, user choose pick a point out of uh, thirty points. They are located inside buildings such as uh, uh, press schools, pharmacies, and uh, offices. Uh, we affiliate with them and set up pickup point there. With the, with this affiliation, our service get more uh, bases, and uh, our partner get more get better chance have, of having more uh, visitors. After selling the point, users can order foods. Uh, food are uh, from local store and uh, food store, which means that we can get more fresh. You can get more fresh food and uh, cheaper food. In this service, user can buy food from local farmer, butcher, uh, fish market buyer, bakeries, and so on. Not supermarket. Some of them, uh, such as uh, some of them, such as uh, farmers or uh, fish buyer, are uh, usually far from the uh, customers. But in our service, user can a uh, much wider choice of foods. Uh, the next day, a user can get the uh, order item at pickup point they choose. Uh, there is a refrigerator at the pickup point, and the user can user food is in it. To identify each user, uh, a QR code of the order need to be scanned with uh, a QR reader uh, attached to the fridge. So the fridge is open. Uh, is it, uh, a user find a box which had the same number shown in the app, then order item are in it. Next part, uh, I will talk about the uh, distribution system behind our service. Uh, we gather orders from users and send an order of the day of day to each shop. First, we uh, close and gather orders from users at 2 a.m. And then a batch runs for send orders to shops. Each shop can choose the contact method from fax, uh, email, or chat, and then receive the order sheet from the day with the way they choose. Then they prepare items according to the seat. Shops firstly uh, collect items ordered and then put labels for each of them. And those labels are automatically printed out with the label printer device we provide. Then we, they, they need to uh, finish this uh, preparation before, uh, between the 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. Then 
other carrier can can come to its shop to collect items uh, prepared between 10 a.m. to 4, a. To 4 p.m. And each carrier cog uh, goes to several shops. The cargo delivery deliver item, uh, uh, the carrier's deliver item, they collect it to the pickup point before 5, a, 5 p.m. and user get notification when the delivery is done. So, for, so then, uh, they go to pick up their, uh, uh, go to pick up their item. The significant future of distribution system is that we don't have the, any uh, distribution center. Because of the absence of the centers, uh, we can provide uh, foods in the day of orders. And delivery fee, delivery fee can be much cheaper. On the top of that, user can enjoy quite fresh food. Uh, for example, we can deliver vegetables uh, harvested just in the morning. Uh, I believe this is the value of the strength of, of, you, of our service. Uh, but uh, there have been various challenges to build a distribution system with reliability. Here, IoT devices can contribute to solve some of these uh, challenges. Uh, one of the important things in fresh food distribution is to deliver items with safety and accuracy. Uh, we have to manage each single item, so we give ID to each item in both informationally and physically form. Also, uh, access to ordered items must be strictly controlled, and uh, the item must be uh, must be kept secure. Uh, because uh, the items are food. Therefore, QuickMapMart uh, has uh, developed two IoT, IoT devices. One is a label printer system for items, and another is a security lock, a security lock on the fridges for pickup. So first is the label printer system. Uh, carriers and users collect items according to a label number on every item. Uh, in other words, uh, without these labels, uh, they cannot find their items. And it will be impossible to run uh, the label printer system, uh, the, no, no, the distribution system. So the label printing system is required to have enough stability to uh, print out labels every day without any programs. So we started building the system. First, I will talk about the prototype and the reason why it don't work. This is a first prototype hardware configuration. Uh, main, main devices are several iPad, iPad, iOS device, and uh, uh, normal label printer for cost, uh, consumers. And uh, insert cable connect them. The iPad and the printer can be connected with uh, uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but uh, we adapted a uh, LAN cable to uh, avoid a stable connection. Wired cable uh, convert lightning to USB and USB to Ethernet. We developed an I iPad application for printing and uh, print libraries every day. Uh, the iPad is always on, and the application is always running. This is a workflow for printing uh, labels uh, with those devices. Uh, we use normal server network for uh, connection between rail server and the uh, iPad. Uh, at uh, first, uh, the first uh, only all the uh, closing time, uh, 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 iPad application get information uh, from rail server via uh, server network, uh, which has uh, label data to be printed. Then uh, iPad app send the uh, uh, printing command to the label printer. After this, the label printer send the send back its status. Uh, where the print is uh, succeeded, then iPad send the status to the label server. It seems like it will work, but we found several problems in in the uh, imp implemented prototype. 
Uh, firstly, uh, it takes much time for kitting. Uh, we have to set up an uh, iPad and the Ravio printer and install the application in the iPad by hand uh, and uh, spend uh, much much time to on them. Uh, the devices need to be set up automatically, otherwise our service cannot be bigger. Secondly, it has some problems in stability and uh, failed printing uh, printer. Uh, uh, printing a label about uh, once or ten times. There are problems in both uh, hardware and the software. In terms of uh, hardware, one reason uh, of this was a disconnection between the iPad and the rubber printer. Somehow, the iPad application of fa failed to uh, assign IP address to the printer, even though they were connected with cable. Also, the printer had problem. Problem. Uh, paper jam of all cards and uh, disturb printing. Uh, in terms of software, it was difficult to update the uh, application. Uh, we were trying to make it, make the printing system work without uh, any manual operation, but we couldn't completely automate the updating, even even with MDM. Also. There are another problems such as uh, application crash and the freezing. After all this challenge with the prototype, we started to design the rubber printing system as a production. Uh, then uh, we, we ran with uh, high stability and uh, reliability. We decided uh, those policies, both two policies. Uh, first, we gave up using iOS devices, and uh, instead, and instead, uh, we uh, use other more controllable OS and uh, devices. Secondly, we adapted uh, rubber printers for business use uh, instead of ones for consumer use. Under these policies, we developed the uh, printing system as a production. Uh, the hardware configuration is this, this here. Uh, for this printer, uh, we choose the TSP 700 to 32, uh, made by uh, Star Micronics. This is business use, and uh, we are sure that uh, there are low probability probability of a uh, printer jam, uh, even though uh, continuous operation. Uh, the printer has uh, sensors to detect the amount of the lab remain remaining and oh sorry and uh, lab remaining and its cover be open or closed. Uh, also, it supports uh, SNMP can and can send this data from the sensors to the manager. With this, with this function. Uh, we can detect and eliminate the cause of failure in uh, printing in advance. Next, we adapted uh, Raspberry Pi for non edge controller. Uh, recently, Raspberry Pi has become more popular, uh, not only for educational use, but for uh, business use. Uh, this edge controller is connected to the printer with Ethernet cable. We we installed a Linux to the Raspberry Pi for several functions. Uh, first is a Raspberry Pi works as a router uh, with it, and uh, because SSH server is running there, we can go to the edge network and uh, solve system troubles. Also, uh, radio field instantly can be monitored with it. We can run the kitting code on it, so we could eliminate the kitting operation by hand. Last part is the LT USB dongle. Uh, it, it insert into the Raspberry Pi and make it connected to the external network. Uh, this is a hardware configuration for production. Next is a uh, network and uh, production. 
We adapted uh, several network for IoT devices in the production environment. It can send a request from server side to uh, its side. For this case, we decided to use a network service or SOLCOM. This is a company which provides networks and uh, uh, SIM for uh, IoT devices in various, in various uh, countries. This network configuration is like this. There are three AWS VPCs uh, in much server layer. Uh, they handle users' orders in shepherd layer. They uh, manage each devices. In SOCOM layer, they manage uh, several networks. When we print labels automatically, the processing is performed as follows. Uh, users send the uh, order request to mass server. Uh, when the time counts to print labels, there's batch run uh, and send command to directly to the label printer be uh, Shepard Pokishi and the SOCOM service kernel. On the other hand, uh, when device request to servers, the data goes uh, via SOCOM, uh, SOCOM gate service, and uh, Shepard gateway, yeah. Uh, this is network. Uh, in this network, uh, server and each device can send request each other. So it is easy to control devices than before. The next part is about uh, its software. The prototype couldn't control level printer enough. We wanted to make the printer more controllable as much as possible in production. For this, we developed a gem uh, because a uh, manufacturer of the printer doesn't provide uh, the AC, uh, Ruby, Ruby libraries. This gem name is uh, Star Isonet. This is the first time for me to create gem and uh, make it public. Uh, this is a communication chart with uh, a label printer, uh, printer server. It is simple uh, TCP connection. Uh, this gem handles star Micronix printer by uh, socket programming with Ruby. As you know, writing a TCP a socket programming with Ruby is not difficult. I show you the sample of uh, controlling the rubber printer. Uh, I omit a print handling part in this code. I just create TCP socket and the same data. I can control a uh, printer only this few calls. I show you the printing demo now. Yeah, this is a code. And uh, yeah, here's a label. Yeah. This is yeah. Here, oh, sorry. Uh, is that right? Okay, okay, right. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> the, uh, this is the document of this uh, print commands. Uh, it is really large volume. Uh, so, 100 commands can be used for controlling this printer. Uh, I copied all commands to this gen one by one, reading this document. So, you can fully control this printer with this gen. <laughs> It worked out for me. Uh, I tried to scrape the PDF document, but I couldn't. Uh, I show you now example these commands. Uh, by using these commands, you can change the uh, font size. Yeah, uh, you can set the uh, font size by N1 and N2. And uh, the comment to the previous one, the print, the font size is bigger than before. The next uh, system, or uh, the, this system already works good, but we have a plan to update. Uh, we share, we, we share you the, uh, we use the uh, connecting LTE network, uh, LT, uh, connecting to LTE network, but in some places the signal is not good enough. So we, we are planning to change the network module. 
And I think the uh, AC adapters set is not cool. Those are here for in the box. So we are going to change the AC adapters uh, to solve that problem. We, we choose the mini PCI OT module uh, because it is flexible to attach uh, many antennas yeah, like this. Uh, and uh, we will choose two channel power supply. Uh, for level printer, uh, 5 volt and uh, printer and uh, 24 volt. It is a little bit simple inside the box, I think. Yeah, that's all. The next topic is the uh, pickup point security. To to solve to save users user ordered items, uh, access to the ordered item must be strictly controlled, and the item must be kept set, uh, secure. And it should never happen that the door is not working and it, it not able to get all the items due to the uh, network fault. It, it has been stable in the, any uh, network environment. Now we are developing new prototype of uh, fridge lock system. It is really actually now. Before I take it off the morning, uh, yeah, I, I got the uh, I got the order board. This this is a connector for the control controller to the magnetic lock. It is really happy to get this. If I couldn't get that today, I cannot show you the demo. <laughs> and I I arrived at hotel. I assembled that in my room. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I am the door maker <laughs> because. Work. Oh my god, I was really upset. But there is a table, uh, there is a table on my room. Yeah, I did not call for a lot with the TV. <laughs> it was really because the TV has to be my current point. <laughs> yeah, I thought that uh, in call and uh, I think that, uh, it, that it did work. It worked, thank you. <laughs> The control box is almost the same as the rubber printer system. The draw lock device, uh, draw lock device, this one. Uh, the armor stuff is special one. It is uh, 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 the uh, uh, factory automation component. So it, it, it has a lot of uh, function like uh, monitoring, uh, open or close, monitoring uh, lock or unlock, and keep uh, keeping uh, closed with a uh, strong force. Those are attached to the uh, normal fridge like this, uh, and we put them in pickup points. Uh, if any trouble has happened, the unlock system has to work as possible, so I design it to work when the network is offline. This is the uh, unlock, unlocking workflow. Uh, when the user launch a pickup screen in the application, the mass server gives the JET token to the user. The token signed with the private key. The mass server sends uh, the pu public key to the mat edge via circle network, and the uh, mat edge keeps the key. When the user uh, pick up uh, the ordered items, the QR readers can use a QR code and mat edge, uh, verify the signature QR to open the fridge or keep the fridge door closed. This system feature is the mat server. Mat edge is not out of service if the uh, IT network is down. If, if uh, mat edge give the uh, uh, verifying public key at least once, uh, the mat edge can work on offline. Next, I show you how to make the workflow possible. When QR code read the sign signature QR code, a QR code controller uh, get the input. 
Um, QR reader control puts the uh, request with QR code parameters. Uh, I show you the code. Uh, I change QR reader to serial mode and uh, open the serial port. Uh, this program always waiting, waits for uh, Q, uh, user QR input and uh, post QR data to Shinato server. Shinato application goes by the QR code and uh, send command to the lock controller. By using Shinato uh, server, also we can post request remotely and get uh, breach status. This is uh, part of the shelter server code. Uh, server vaporizer token posted from QR code, QR reader. And if the jet is valid, it opens the uh, fridges. Next is a fridge controller, uh, uh, no, fridge lock controller. Lock controller control the fridge magnetic lock, this one. Uh, I explain the lock control. Uh, Sinatra app unlocks the fridge door by using Raspberry Pi GPIO. And user can open the door. When user calls the door, the door has to be uh, locked. So in this code, when user open the door, uh, the lock controller set lock mode. Then at close door, immediately the lock at the door is locked. I show you the demo. Here is a QR reader and the reader QR. It's unlocked. And uh, yeah, it's unlocked. And uh, when I insert the key, it's locked. Something like that. So today I show you two uh, products. I ask, I had. I have no experience to uh, develop hardware so far. So in developing those, I care about how to make those reliable. I think there are three key points. First is uh, uh, finding problems by uh, developing prototyping. I am not highly professional, so I built and described the system as possible as past. And I found many problems and solved those. Secondly, uh, an understanding uh, acceptable points in the service. In level printer system case, we can retry uh, print on fail because anyone does not have trouble if the printing is late a little bit. Uh, in fridge lock system case, we cannot retry because user use this immediately. Lastly, how to make it robust with designing like uh, in level printer system, we can rerun batch in fail. Uh, in the, uh, in the fridge lock system, we provide verification uh, public key in uh, advance. And in our system, uh, Ruby code runs. In level printer, we use, uh, we use Ruby for uh, TCP socket programming, uh, creating uh, print commands, and uh, kitting calls. In fringe lock system, we use Ruby for controlling QR call, QR reader, uh, verification, and signature, and uh, control fridge lock via GPIO. Yes. Thank you for, thank you, Ruby, and thank you for your kind attention. Um, any questions? Any questions that you would like to ask? Yes? Uh, how do you prevent uh, people, uh, people from getting out of the uh, You mean the... You mean open the screen and take hours? Ah, uh, take hours, uh, yeah. Uh, we, yeah we, we think that is a problem, but uh, uh, now, now we, no, no one do that. But <laughs> yeah, no one do that. But uh, we, we, yeah, it's in Japan. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, we have to do it. So now I, now, now I developing the another way uh, to like uh, making the uh, box separately, something like that. Yeah. with a lot of uh, businesses to create 
create your distribution point, right? right? But before you did that, you did a lot of prototyping. Have you run into any problems with the businesses that you partnered with, or did you successfully get all the bugs out before you rolled out? Uh, you mean the... Yeah, so, sorry, I can't understand that okay, you so mean the... The question is, uh, like, how much... How do you know when you're ready to, to present ah, the product? I see, I see. Uh, we learn we learn about uh, one week or two weeks around uh, at, at in my office, so they can works. They works. Uh, we 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 them out of the office and uh, put the, put this put those in the uh, pickup point or the stores. So so far it's, it works one hundred percent. No. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So with any physical lock, right? Uh, uh, the question is about tempering, right? Uh, most of the electronic locks are, are controlled exactly the way you did it, which is GPIO and bias down. It controls the MAC lock and locks it, right? But there is a physical tempering prevention aspects to that, where I can circumvent the system by charging a, a high electric volt. <laughs> Uh, it's possible, but uh, uh, yeah, the, the the lock is inside this box, and uh, the box is uh, locked with uh, uh, number numbers a lock. Yeah, so we cannot reach inside that. If you if you kick the plug, the <laughs> <laughs> if you kick the plug, the, uh, the lock is still locked, so you cannot open that. Okay. Uh. See. Okay. You go first. Uh, can you tell us a little about what sort of debugging you did in your hotel room? <laughs> uh, what hotel hotel what? What kind of debugging you did? What sort of ah. Uh, okay. I maybe. So yeah, uh, I I I write the uh, write code, but uh, when I uh, plug the uh, Raz uh, Raspberry Pi, the problem not run. So I open the uh, console and uh, uh, when I when I plug, the code runs. <laughs> yeah, just right, just like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a difficult program. Yeah, it's a difficult program. It, uh, I, I, I do not want to do that. <laughs> but uh, but uh, the, lock, the lock system can detect the open or not. So we can, we can know if there is a toggle or not. So it, some, some, some problem happens. I call the, uh, the place, a stores or something. Then the people, please, please close the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, we saw a lot of this that every system they have multiple tokens. So it's pretty much that each person will get its own locker. So you can open it, only see its own stuff. Is the reason, what, what's the reason that you only use the one code for everything? Is it just using the prototype or what, what's the plan? Uh, you mean the. Uh, Yes, that's right. Each person has their own door. Yeah, that's right. You only have one big door. So one yeah, door. yeah, yeah. So, so I told that uh, we have to separate the box with the uh, lock. Yeah, now I'm developing the. This is a prototype. <laughs> 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 okay, any more questions for Shinsuke? Anyone? Okay, um, let's.